Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. After quite a bit of fussing around, I discovered that the one way to make sure that your font gets loaded into your PILL library for writing text to an image is to specify the full path. And since I'm using Google Colab, I had to figure out where those fonts were. It's an Ubuntu-like system, so found it. I found the fonts in User Share Fonts, True Type, Liberation, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, uh, frankly, Google doesn't offer very many fonts, but you know that's what it is. Ironically, they don't even include their own fonts, which I found surprising. Anyway, uh, here is a very basic script that does work. You have to upload your own image. In this case, it's this one here. <clears throat> and I will give a demo, demo, new image. And uh, here is my demo text, just like that. And you can see I passed that variable into there. It's going to be black. The color will be black. And we well, actually, before we break anything, let's go ahead and run it. And you'll see after refreshing, we have a new image download. And here is my do new demo text. Excellent. Now, uh, for our next demonstration, let's just make sure you understand what is going on here. And hopefully this won't break anything. Uh, select the font and color, oh, 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 color of text. Variable and the last one here is x, y, where zero, zero is top left corner. Hopefully I haven't broken anything. A new demo. Oh, here is, I should give it a new, here is my new demo text. Please work. It worked. So here we have our new uh, demo. Got to refresh the page. A demo download. Here's my new demo text. Here is my new demo text. All right, so I'll share the link uh, to this particular script. There are other things that you can do that I have identified up in here. Uh, for example, this has been very useful. Let me show you why. Uh, we're going to rename F, throw in some curly braces in here, and we'll call this uh, goodbye. So when I run this, it's going to get the timestamp, which, which, uh, let's go ahead and run that. I should have ice cream installed, so that should work. Ice. Timestamp and run it. I uh, see it's not installed. All right, so let's move all of this up here.
And there's my timestamp. I've chosen just um, minutes and seconds because I'm doing lots of testing. I could go with milliseconds, but I'm not going. Actually, I don't need to go milliseconds, but 1520 really helps to have a timestamp in your output so you know what you're looking for. And in this case, when I run this, I should get timestamp of 1546 something. There we go. And that was pretty fast. 1548. And I can double click and open it, but it kind of opens it up in this thing. And I have just to open another tab. So here is my new demo text uh, with a timestamp. So if you still don't believe me that this is working, it's really quite fast when you think about it. Timestamp will be 16 something, 1611, double click, close that one, and here is my new demo text. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, this will help some people out there because I wasted so much time figuring out how to control the fonts on Google Colab. Thanks for watching and happy computing.